The 1990s were a crazy time. Boy bands were a thing, the internet was just getting started, and people were doing ungodly things with their hair. Of course, hairstyles come and go. Some stay past their welcome, and others die quicker than you can say mullet. From crimping to spiky hair, there were so many bad 90s hairstyles, it's hard to include them all. Let's go back in time, shall we? I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 worst 90s hairstyles we can't believe were popular. Twenty-five front flipped hair. Worn by Alicia Silverstone in the movie Clueless, the front flipped hairstyle in the 90s was so easy. All girls had to do was swoop over part of their hair and call it a day. 24. The Rachel haircut. The Rachel haircut from the hit television show Friends <laughs> spawned a thousand lookalikes in the early 90s. From the looks of it, it was originally conceived from a Billy Ray Cyrus haircut. Though, the word on the street was Jennifer Aniston was not a huge fan of it to begin with. She was not. That's why her hair changes in season two? Didn't they change it really early? No, season three. Season three. She goes, okay. That's when the beginning of the Rachel I like happens. Yeah. Rachel's the best friend. I like Chandler. 23. Sarah Jessica Parker perm. The perm is something of an old relic where women, and sometimes men, would put a giant upside down bowl over their heads that magically curled their hair. We'd gather this thing existed probably until the Rachel came onto the scene. A true shame. I remember those. 22. Poofy Ponytail. The 90s poofy ponytail, as seen here, was like a volcanic explosion of hair that burst out of someone's head and just hung there, waiting desperately to go out of style. Also scrunchies. 21. Gelled curls. Two words that'll haunt your nightmares and make you look over your shoulder. Gelled curls. <laughs> exactly. This was the look 90s guys wanted to be Justin Timberlake. Or maybe look like they always just got out of the shower. 20. Whatever NSYNC was doing. Just all of this. From the Eminem hair, the spiky hair, the dreadlocks, and the Eddie Munster, NSYNC essentially wrapped up the worst 90s haircuts in one fell swoop. 19. Zigzag part. A variation of the Rachel, the zigzag part ruthlessly taunted people with OCD. It was also something of a rebellious statement. Or maybe they weren't sure how to make a proper part in the first place. I'm going with the latter. 18. Hair streaks. Oh look, Christina Aguilera is back. Colors in stark contrast to each other were pretty hot back in the 90s. In her case, looking like half of your head was bleeding, I guess, was the right way to go. Today, subtlety is the name of the game. 17. High top fades. The high top fade is starting to make a bit of a comeback. Those responsible probably haven't asked the important questions like, am I really doing this? In the 90s, this look was popularized by Will Smith, among others. They probably wish they asked the important questions back then, too. 16. Bowl cut. <laughs> Everyone saw this coming. The bowl cut. A 90s trend that plagued the heads of boys everywhere. Hairstylists must have been out of their minds to allow this nightmare to continue. Sure, it's, it's neat and tidy. It takes care of the mullet problem. Making someone's head look like a mushroom is not the best alternative. 15. Parted bowl cut. Somewhere down the road, the bowl cut evolved into the parted bowl cut. Ancient legend tells of a boy that discovered a comb in the ruins of his bathroom. With his newfound power, he split his bowl cut right down the middle, and behold, the parted bowl cut was born. This thing spread like wildfire, showing up on every 90s sitcom in the entire TGIF lineup. I am so glad millennials got it out of their system and moved on. 14. Flat twists. Flat twists are the sweatpants of hairstyles. It may be comfortable to get the hair out of your face, but it's likely to make you look like Medusa Reborn. 13. Crimped hair. In the 90s, crimping was all the rage, making girls look like they hadn't brushed their hair in weeks. Some couldn't decide if they wanted to fully crimp their hair, or like Britney Spears, just kind of, sort of, crimp their hair. 
Let's be honest, both options didn't lead to anything good. I hope my hair looks great for this, otherwise I'm gonna look silly. Nice. Nice. 12. Frosted Tips. When the bowl cut died down, guys wandered over to a new domain, the Frosted Tips. It's essentially a mashup of a porcupine that walked through a blizzard. Hair gel profits went through the roof. 11. Butterfly Clips. It was a dark time. Women of the 90s enslaved helpless plastic butterflies to hold up their hair into bizarre and ill-advised ways. When the trend died down, society declared in one voice, never again. Who wrote this? Did you? No. 10. Mel Gibson's Mane. Once upon a time, Mel Gibson led a small following of brave men into the unknown world of long flowing locks. I'm not sure if it's a mullet or a mane, but it existed. And even if it was for a short period of time, it's hard to forget. Nine, the Chewbacca. The only explanation for this thing is apparently a failed attempt to copy Mel Gibson's mane. I'm really hoping this never became popular. There's nothing within this haircut that makes any sense whatsoever. And for that reason, we're calling it the Chewbacca. Eight, scary spice hair. There's a reason they called her Scary Spice. Her wild and crazy and goat horned hair didn't do her or anyone else that adopted the look any favors. Seven, Hanson hair. While not as bad as the bowl cut, Hanson took the long hair look to a whole new horrible level. It's bad enough for one to have long hair, but for all of them to copy each other, took it one step too far. Fortunately, it bopped into obscurity pretty damn quick. Six, Jerry Curl. Popularized by Lionel Richie and that assassin Samuel L. Jackson played in Pulp Fiction, the Jerry Curl is basically a perm, but for guys. Because guys will never admit to having a perm, ever. Five, spiky hair. Hair gel allowed 90s kids to do all kinds of crazy stuff to their hair. Unfortunately, spiking it up to insanely high levels was one trend I'm wishing never happened. Punk rockers and skater boys especially pushed this hairstyle to its limits, spitting in gravity's face. Four, Vanilla Ice Hair. While he may have ripped off the track of Ice Ice Baby from Queen, it's safe to say Vanilla Ice's haircut is the work of his own creation. Whatever happened on that fabled day, clearly the hairstylist stopped, collaborated, and listened. Three, Mullet. Before he was cast as Hawkeye or Mo Hawkeye, Jeremy Renner committed the unthinkable in 1991. He got a mullet. Now, no one can blame him for hopping onto this 90s fad at a young age. The mullet was an enticing style for those who wanted a business look up front with a little party in the back. Oh, <laughs> I want to reverse party in the front, business in the back. Two, Rat Tails. <laughs> 90s parents might have thought it was cute to let their kids grow rat tails, but there's really no excuse for having one. It's the easiest piece of hair to cut off. And if for some reason a hairstyle has the word rat in it, chances are you've made the wrong call. One, curly mullet. The curly mullet took an already awful hairstyle and dialed it up to 11. Whether permed or natural, this brand of mullet defied all logic and decided to have a party all the time, even during business hours. <laughs> that was good. So what's the worst haircut you've ever had? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your pictures to us at list25. I already know your worst haircut. It's from earlier videos and you're probably just gonna show it. Wait, what? <laughs> your mop head. That's... okay, no. What's your worst haircut? Look, I got the worst haircut of this my life. This one? You're no, hey. Hey, hey, got the worst haircut of my life. I was like in seventh grade because I showed them a picture and they didn't make it exactly how I wanted it at all. Okay. And then later on I found out, no, Tristan, you're supposed to style it. So I think there's a difference like between, maybe. Because that seems like it, they messed up, which is a difference. Because They like, didn't though. Oh. They cut it how they were supposed to. I just didn't realize I actually have to style it and put hair gel in it to make what it work. What look is this? Do you have a picture of this? No, I don't have a picture of it. I was too I've ashamed. Never, I've never had a terrible haircut, really. Yeah, I but used to wear something simple every yeah, time. Yeah, no, I used to wear like off to the side, and then I parted it. I think I never had a bowl cut, never had a rat tail. I never had any of these. 
Maybe I should say I had a high top just to throw Let's have some love for Coconut Head in the comments. Whoa. Is that a reference I don't get? Yeah, you uncultured swine. What's it from? You guys can let him know in the comments below. What's it from? No. What's it from? If you don't know what it's from, you don't deserve to know. Was I too old for this show? Yes. Then it doesn't matter. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.